Uh, what can you tell us about the history of wrestling? Well, wrestling is the oldest sport in the world, one of the first ones ever. Uh, basically started the Olympics. Um, just many a great man have come from the sport of wrestling. I think, uh, you know, starting from high school, now there's kids wrestling all the way up. It's one of the most upcoming sports that we have. Even females are starting to get into the sport of wrestling. Yeah. What positions do you most likely see a wrestler positioned at? Well, honestly, and up front, I, I love our offensive and defensive line guys to wrestle heavyweight, you know, the upper weights. Um, but we've had them all over. Our running back this year is a wrestler. Um, I've had one of our best DBs I've had here in 10 years was a state qualifying wrestler at like 138. We've had them all over. Generally, where it's most beneficial, defensive players, offensive and defensive line. Um, it's you against your opponent. Uh, I think, you know, there's a team value to um, every match and team points and team wins. Um, but when you're on that mat for that six minutes, there's nobody to help you. Uh, there's no teammate to bail you out. There's no rest. There's no time off. Really no timeouts. Um, and you find out a lot about yourself and exactly how far you can push yourself and how tough you are. It involves mentality and all your strength at the same time. It's just the competitiveness of wrestling. I think it's unique in the fact of, you know, not many sports have to watch their weight and condition, over condition like we do. Um, in all sports, sometimes the throwing muscle uses a shoulder, you know, sprinters use their legs. Well, in wrestling, you're using your full body all the time in six minutes, and there is no timeouts. There's nothing you can do about it. Zero and on my target like a marksman. Wrestling teaches you how to have self-discipline in school and outside of school at workplaces. I think it helped me a lot with like just everyday, everyday situations and I think I would have been just playing football and having a winter off. Would you be where you are today if you didn't wrestle? Absolutely not. Just the mental toughness. Um, luckily I was state champion my senior year and got to go to college and wrestle and paid for my education. Got me the job that I wanted my whole life here. Um, nothing. The, the sport of wrestling has not taught me just about winning, but it's also taught me about to never give up. To when you feel down, feel down, just hang in there. Everything in life has a purpose and a reason, and if you can't fight through that, that's why people kind of give up. There's no such thing as giving up in the sport of wrestling. That's why I do it, that's why I'll always do it. As an athlete, it teaches you competitiveness and um, you know grinding and mental toughness as well. It pushed me further into being a tougher, stronger athlete. And just wrestling just made me into who I am today. Mental toughness is like having that thing where you can just like... Uh, being able to push through stuff even when it gets to the hardest point. Keep driving when you're in pain, feel like you can't push yourself throughout the match and just being able to keep going. More mind over body. Like when you're in a match and let's say you're tired and you're just grinding and grinding and grinding. I take mental toughness over physical toughness any day because it's just way much better and your body can do things that you couldn't expect. Uh, fighting through adversity and uh, can't let anything break you, break your will, break uh, who you are. It's just fighting through anything that's thrown at you and uh, jumping over any adversity thrown at you. Here. I think a lot of kids don't wrestle because of that discipline thing. And wrestling's got a bad rap. You know, wrestling, oh, you have to cut weight. Oh, there's so many skin diseases and things like that. I think so that wrestling really does get a bad reputation because of some of those things that. That's the number one reason I think is laziness. Some people know that it's hard, and the majority of human beings just, it's nature to take the easy way out. People don't want to do that these days. Because uh, they're too scared about having to do all the conditioning or uh, not wanting to wear the singlet because it's too weird. But once you get over the fact of that, uh, it's probably one of the best sports you'll ever play. What have you accomplished throughout the years being a wrestling head coach? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, we have some banners on the wall here. We've. Uh, Done a lot of good things. One of my proudest things isn't the wins and losses. Uh, my proud thing is how many four-year wrestlers I have. We call them Carlson Crusaders. Uh, about 10 years ago, I decided, I've been a head coach for 20 years, 10 years ago, I decided 
you know, we have to do something. We have to do something for these kids. These kids do more than I do. And uh, we, we don't reward them enough. So I started the Wrestling Hall of Fame in our room for 30 match winners, sectional qualifiers. But my most important board I talked about was the Carlson Crusaders board. There's actually two full sheets of plywood filled up in the room, all Carlson Crusaders. Some of those kids never wrestled a varsity match, but they still are on the board. We go hard on Monday, a lot of review from over the weekend. Then on Tuesday, probably our toughest day. We go a lot of live, uh, we want to get a lot of competitions, we want to grease going, heart rate up, and then we flip tires. We get stronger at the end of practice every Tuesday. Even when they're tired, they want to flip tires. Pull on our back. Yeah. Drag in sand buckets, just throwing them over our shoulders and like that. They want to bound ropes. That's what it's all about, the mental toughness. As the week goes on, we do a little more drilling, ready to go on Friday. We have pride in our conditioning and just watching one of my guys break another wrestler. And when I mean that, not break an arm, a leg, just break them mentally, be in better shape and watch their muscles just fatigue and their mind just give in. That's what we call breaking someone in wrestling. Usually third period, dominance. When we're done with practice, then we condition. Sometimes I let them off of conditioning, they get mad. The wrestler's mentality, they know I'm going to win at least one match this year because I'm in better shape. We start on Monday.